Hello, today we are discussing a very, very important topic. Almost everybody is affected by this topic. So let's get started. Temporal discounting. So what we do, we offer prefer immediate rewards over delayed rewards. And this is basically what is referred to as temporal discounting. Discounting refers to the process of assigning lower value to rewards if they are received in future as compared to if they are received immediately. Uh, in other words, it's a cognitive bias that leads individuals to value immediate rewards more highly than that which are delayed over time. So let's see with some examples. Binge eating. So we keep on eating garbage. Why? Because it gives dopamine. Dopamine, as you may be knowing, is a type of neurotransmitter, which is basically neuro means neurons, brain. Transmission is the uh, messenger. So it is like a chemical messenger in the brain and gives what? It gives the feeling of pleasure, reward, motivation. And sugar is very related to dopamine. So you eat sugar, you get dopamine. So binge eating, we know the, there are so many disadvantages of this, but we still do it. Procrastination, we delay tasks, delay studies, delay a lot of things. Even though we know the harm it is causing to us in a longer run. Same about exercises, putting off exercising, exercises, sleeping disorders, either sleep too much or sleep too little. Finances, not enough savings thinking that the retirement is too far. Preferring a $100 today instead of $150 one year after. So addictions. So uh, knowing the long-term impact of these kind of addictions like smoking and drinking, still not bothering about them. Neglecting regular skill building. So we know that all these things are uh, uh, like in short term, they are little difficult to do, but long term, how much beneficial they are. Still, we are not taking care of it. So that's what is temporal discounting, wherein we are basically putting off something good for uh, uh, for the benefit what we receive immediately today, now. So let's see it with the help of one experiment. Uh, and with this experiment, you will also understand how temporal discounting is related to delayed gratification. So this experiment was done with children and the experiment had three steps. First, the experimenter would put a marshmallow. Marshmallow is like a treat, uh, which is uh, liked by the children. The child was told that they can either eat it immediately. They can eat the marshmallow right now immediately or if they waited for a 15 minutes, then they would get two marshmallow, meaning a reward of one more marshmallow. Now the children is in the room alone. That is the third step. And the experimenter has left the room. Now it is up to the children either to wait and have two marshmallows or eat the marshmallow, which is there on the table. So there were three different category of children which were uh, identified during this experiment. The first category, pick the marshmallow, eat it immediately. The second one, little obstinate, but not obstinate enough. So they waited and waited and waited, but they could not wait for 15 minutes, either after five minutes, 10 minutes, or just before 15 minutes, they picked the marshmallow and ate it. So these children struggled with the temptation to eat and finally gave up. The third category of children, these children also struggled with the uh, uh, temptation to eat. They kept on waiting and waiting and waiting and they were obstinate and heavy minded in the sense that they kept on waiting and delayed and delayed and finally did not eat for 15 minutes and finally got two marshmallows to eat. So post this experiment, a experiment always would be having some findings and conclusions. So what were the conclusions which were uh, later derived after studying these children for a long period of time? So it was derived that these children uh, who delayed their gratification had positive outcomes in various aspects of their lives. 
so which meant that they were more successful more healthier more skilled had better life expectancy basically they led a much more happier life so that is how delayed gratification can affect us in longer terms longer time frame this fight within is existing since eternity it was even discussed in shrimad bhagavad gita so arjun spoke to krishna and he shared his self doubt with krishna this is what he said chanchalam hi manha krishna pramadi balavad dhradam tasyaham nigraham manye vayuriv sudushkaram the mind is very restless turbulent strong and obstinate oh krishna it appears to me more difficult to control than to control wind and krishna replied asanchayam maha bahaho manoh durdegraham chalam abhyasen tu konte vairagyen ch grahate without doubt o mighty armed mighty armed referring to arjun the mind is indeed very difficult to restrain but by practice and detachment these are the two keywords practice and detachment it can be controlled so only two things are required practice and detachment i'll leave you with some more ideas so we can set clear goals we can practice mindfulness we can delay gratification visualize the future benefits in our mind plan and prioritize practice self control exercises self control exercises would be a simple one like i would not be having any sugar today or for 4 hours start with small learn from mistakes educate yourself practice gratitude so with these ideas i'll leave you leave you thank you very much